Cauchy Riemann equation in the Cart Cartesian form. Necessary conditions that f of z may be analytic. If f of z in terms of u and v express pandro, u in terms of x and y, v in terms of x and y. If z it is any point. Apo in the oror z you should have four continuous first order partial derivatives. Adi enna abdina dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou v by dou x and dou v by dou y. Okay, it should exist it should satisfy this condition. It should satisfy this condition. So, this is the condition satisfy this condition. We will prove it. Okay, so Cartesian equation. If the condition satisfy we are going to bring the proof. Okay, let f of z be analytic. This is analytic. Huh? At any point z, this is our question condition. At any point z, and the z one x plus i y. So, ipo f dash of z, I am f dash of z is equal to the limit of delta z tending to zero of f of z plus delta z minus f of z by delta z which exists and this remains unique and this remains unique Ipo. Cartesian form of Cartesian form of f of z Adi enna abdina, u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y Idhile. Delta Z bandhi, increment in Z increment in Z corresponding to yedhuke, corresponding to increments in corresponding to increments in delta X delta Y in X and Y. Okay? Now Ipa namak f dash of z n na go f dash of z is equal to limit of delta z tending to zero of ipo u of x delta x comma y on the y plus delta y plus i into v of x plus delta x comma y plus delta y divided by minus u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y by delta z. Okay. Ippa nama enna pana poro ondina split real and imaginary parts. Real and imaginary parts. Okay. F as of z is equal to limit delta z tending to 0 of u of x plus delta y comma y delta y minus u of x comma y by delta z ok plus imaginary part imaginary part is equal to v of x plus delta y comma y plus delta y minus v of x comma y by delta z. Either one the number of equation 1. Either one the number of equation 1. Okay. Now, delta z is equal to z plus delta z minus z. So, either one the number of uh, z plus delta z plus i into y plus delta y. This is the real part. This is the imaginary part. Now, z is substitute for x plus i y. Okay? So, this is the real part. Now, I simplify it. Delta z is equal to delta x 
plus i into tau y. Okay. Now, ipo, nama kau under rende case ruk. Case one, case two. Or case la under delta y zero wa assume panikro. Inno or case la under delta x zero wa assume panikro. Okay ba. So now it is case one. Now it is case one. So ipo case one case one yeah let delta y is equal to zero then ipa in the delta y zero y ta namak in the delta is in a home this is equal to delta x okay and if delta is it is tending to zero which implies that my delta x is also tending to zero okay so ipo நம்ம equation 1 என்னாகும் equation 1 becomes என்ன since this is equal to 0 okay so if f dash of z is equal to limit of 0 u of x plus delta x கமா இங்க y மட்டும் நாம்மரும் okay minus u of x கமா y by num delta by 0 or now in the delta x plus i into limit of x tending to 0 of v of x plus comma delta y minus v of x comma y divided by delta x in the full hour term in the full hour term okay so either la me vandu these are the partial derivatives of u and v with respect to x. So, it is the partial derivatives of u and v with respect to x. So, now we have f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x this term dou u by dou x plus i into dou v by dou x. This is my equation 2. Case 2 la in abdina let now delta x is equal to 0. Up and again now my delta is v delta y. Yen I delta x one the 0 and when my delta z is tending to 0, this implies my delta y is also tending to 0. Okay. Now, equation 1 becomes equation 1 in our own. F dash of z is equal to limit of x kadaya 0. Okay. Ba. So, u of I mean delta x kada u of x comma y plus delta y inga delta x kada yadu it is 0 minus u of x comma y by i into delta plus i into limit of delta 0 v of x comma y plus delta y minus v of x comma y. Either or term. Either or term. By i into theta. Okay. Now, if I have i in the denominator. Okay. So, now I have this 1 by i. 1 by i should be replaced. 1 by i should be replaced. Okay. So, 1 by i into i by i. This is equal to i by i square. i square is equal to minus 1. So, this is equal to minus i. Therefore, 1 by i is equal to minus i. So, for this 1 by i and for this 1 by i, I will substitute minus i. So, if the minus i minus i substitute pandi, we are going to simplify this f of f dash of z f dash of z is equal to limit of delta y tending to 0 of u of x comma y plus delta y minus u of x comma y divided by delta y 
1 by i ikku badala you are going to substitute here minus i okay so if adutha term enna agum appadina namakku inge idu vandu i square vandu minus 1 i t it will become plus y is equal to v of x comma y plus y minus v of x comma y divided by right okay the root term now ipo these are the partial derivatives of x and y so we are replacing it as f dash of z is equal to minus i into dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y okay now when i go for this this will be my equation 3 so i yana yeah, equation 1 irukku equation 2 irukku equation 3 irukku so now ipa enna pannadena equate equation 2 and 3 equation 2 and 3 na vandu equate panna poren appo enak enna kadaikum appadina dou u by dou x plus i into dou v by dou x z by to dou v by dou y minus i into dou u by dou y okay so equating real and imaginary parts imaginary parts thaniya real parts thaniya equate pannu appo enak enna varum dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y okay adutha the imaginary part dou v by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y so this is the needed proof 